All right, y'all. So the name of this wig is Bobby Boss NLF 270 Fendi. I have the color number one, and it is a four by four silk base. And um, a lot of people don't like silk base either, and it's, it's pretty easy to cut out. But um, I prefer the silk base over the new faux scalp. No shade to outre, but with a silk base, there's no line of demarcation. But um, that faux scalp was just too noticeable. But y'all can't even tell because right now I got like a flip over method because I just didn't feel like putting heat to the wig. So I just did a quick flip over. But let's get into the details real quick. It does have the two combs over here, comb in the back, adjustable straps, and um, soft lace that I cut off. Y'all, this cap size feels like ginormous. It is super big. So if you got a big head girl, this one is perfect for you. I um I would you'd probably have to like glue it down. I got my um wig grip band on and that helped kind of put it in place for now. As long as I don't play with the hair too much. But um that's yeah, really big. And um this texture y'all is very very nice. It's um I say it's a in between silky and yakky but it doesn't feel fake or plasticky. And there are some slight crinkles in there, y'all, but um, they don't bother me at all. But it's very soft and nice, the texture. Um, the density is nice for this length. This is a good everyday length, work length, and you know, good for multi-purpose. And this is all the hair to the front. Um, so like I said, it is multi-part and you could, um, part it whichever way you like within that 4x4 four four area but you probably would have to use some heat you know once you got whichever style you desired but um like I said I'm being lazy and um, I think it's time to keep it a flip over method y'all um but I would um if I were to wear it like this out I'll probably um cut some baby hairs in it to to put sh sh um, shape around the hairline cut it it's kind of you know circular so I would definitely add some baby hairs or something if you're gonna wear it with the flip over method. But um, I'm probably not gonna keep this wig, so I'm not gonna mess with it. But it is, um, it's cute and good for every day. And y'all, these, they got a couple layers in it and this wig got so much body in it. What's that new song, that body yada yada song? Like that was made for this wig, like it is, it's very nice. Like, I really like that about it. But um, yeah, y'all, this is cute and good for every day. And it's versatile if you want to take advantage of that. But um, let me show you what it's looking like all around and get going. Oh, before I get into that, I haven't got um, much tangling, y'all. This length is, you know, not bad, so I don't think there'll be too much of that. Probably in the nape after you wear it. And um, I haven't seen it. See, a couple strands of hairs when I mess with it, but um, it's not like a handful of hair, so I think that should be all right too. Now. Let me show you what it's looking like all around. Get his side. What? Oh, it's okay, baby. There's the back. There's the hair on it. Hold on. Side. And back to the front. Okay. Y'all know I don't eat hair. <laughs> but, um, uh, it's not hair from this wig, y'all. <laughs> but, um, alright, that's it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, hit me up. I'll get back to you. And as always, I thank you for watching. Yeah.